Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we are at Gruel's Lair. Uh, I think I misspoke at the end of, uh, before that pause, so. Uh, there is an actual, uh, quest, uh, the Fall of Magtheridon. Uh, when you get loot the head, you can click on it and, um, uh, start a quest. You actually get some pretty decent stuff. Uh, yeah. Agility and stamina, not bad, not bad. So uh, you just got to turn that into uh, Danath Trobane in Honor Hold, and you get that. So, but uh, here is uh, Gruul's Lair. It's slightly longer. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm oh, sorry about the mic there. Uh, <clears throat> so if you remember a couple of, well, actually several episodes ago, we killed. Uh, the Gron in uh, Nagrand. Um, this is uh, the father of all Grons, basically. There's two boss fights. Uh, one is a group, and, uh, and man, these guys still have uh, quite a bit of hit points. Um, so there we go. Uh, I do have a, um, oh gosh, I guess I should show that. Um, so we can actually loot these. Um, I got a new talent, Murder of Crows. I'm not actually for sure how much damage they do, but anyway. <laughs> I got a glyph of misdirection, so every time I put it on my pet, it renews. So basically, this is a non-stop um, uh, misdirect. Uh, oh, okay, so we're here. Um, High King Malgor is uh, basically the leader of the ogres in um, Blade's Edge. Uh, now one of these is a healer. Uh, I think it's yeah, blind eye the seer. So we're gonna drop. Uh, yeah, we're gonna drop a freezing trap on him. Oh, get him! Oh, it was immune. This could go really bad, uh, and probably will. Yeah, this is going to go real bad. Yes! Got one. Alright. Got another one, all right. You will not defeat the hand of Gruul. Ha! Does not prove anything. Oh. Holy cow, he is wrecking me. I'm not afraid of you. Yes. <laughs> uh, that got hairy there for a minute. Um Elect stamina and crit. Uh, not mine, not mine. Oh, come on. Oh, well. We'll try again next week.
up. Oh, I hate fears. Oh, that was... <laughs> uh, apparently, I have discovered a downfall in my... Uh, Um, having that uh, glyph. Oh, Grand Priest, you've... Aha! There we go. Alright, so this is going uh, somewhat better than, uh, oh gosh, three of them. Not too bad. Alright. Uh, he has over a million hit points. Uh, this should be interesting. Uh, one of the things he does, uh, he does like an earthquake thing that causes um, like uh, a bunch of boulders and stuff to fall down. Uh, and then every so many seconds he enlarges. Uh, so you have to kill him fairly quickly or he becomes uh, like Incredible, like he's just doing so much damage, it's just nuts. So, Come and die. Yeah, see, there's the uh, cave in thing. I think he's immune to stomp, yeah. Or, uh... Three. Oh! Yeah, so he's, uh, 15% stronger now. And <clears throat> we got him down to a bit, so... So that wasn't quite as hard as I was expecting it to be. Seriously? Uh, so we're not going to get any... Oh, well. We're going to get some leggings. Uh, Aldori Legacy Defender, I'm thinking, is a very cool looking shield. Yeah. That looks familiar. Uh, male boots. Oh. Intellect and Stamina. How surprising. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that is Gruul's Lair. Nice. Um, let's see, the next one up on the list. Um, let's see, we did uh, Mactherodon's Lair and Karazhan. Uh, and like I said, Karazhan is like your first... Uh, uh, your first uh, kind of entrance into raiding... Uh, then you would move into um, Magtheridon. Once you'd gotten almost everything out of Karazhan, uh, you would move up. But of course, your whole team had to be fairly well geared 
and uh, these two are um, uh, 25 man so I mean you've got uh, I think um, yeah I'm fairly certain these are 25 man so <clears throat> so you had to have two um, two groups uh, in Karazhan gear at least and then you could have a few like uh, like your DPS could be a little bit subpar uh, but your tanks and your healers had to be on the really they had to really know their stuff but uh, but this is uh, Blades Edge uh, all through here uh, you'll find um, well I was wanting to show you before I stopped the video, but uh, yeah, there's a dragon, a huge dragon head there, um, and there's dragon corpses on these spikes, kind of scattered around, and that's because Gruul and his group, uh, basically, that's what they've been doing. They've been killing the dragons. Um, so we didn't get a head for that to turn in, so. <coughs> So I think the next one, uh, once you had kind of gotten all of this done, whoop, this is not where I wanted to be. Um, once you had done uh, Magtheridon and Girl's Lair, uh, I'm wanting to say the next one is Serpent Shrine Cavern, uh, which is actually uh, one of my f more favorite ones. It's um, the next step up. So you would do, because you can only do Mag. Make their dawn cares in and uh, gruel's lair can only do those once a week, um, and it usually took uh, probably not well obviously not in uh, Mac their dawn if you beat it but um, it to clear cares on cares in when you first started that would take pretty much a whole week if you could even finish it. Um, <clears throat> so while we're flying back, I'll kind of explain how raiding works. Um, or how it worked for us. Yeah, see, there's there's dragons just impaled all over the place <clears throat> because uh, yeah, Gruul and all of them they they really did not like uh, like dragons that much. So um, but yeah, the um, so you would do Karazhan, you get everybody kind of geared up. Uh, to a, a level uh, minimum gear score which we didn't really have gear score at the time but um, like if your tank had a certain number of hit points if uh, um, there was some theory crafting like um, like you had to be hit capped and uh, your defense capped that type of thing um, and then your healers had to of course be able to keep up uh, but you, you still had to have a, a pretty good solid core of uh, DPS but it wasn't uh, wasn't quite as imperative um, <clears throat> you just had to know how to uh, squeeze all of that out that you could um, like you had to to be really on the ball with uh, how much DPS you could do and uh, make sure you were doing max and not just auto attacking uh, let's see um, so uh, cares in till like you would clear that uh, of course, when Karazhan first came out, Magtheridon Slayer and uh, Gruul Slayer, I think all three of those kind of released about the same time in a patch. So we would you had several months to work through that. And then the story would progress. Uh, and then um, Serpent Shrine Cavern released. And then Black Temple released a bit after that. And of course all that in between there was uh, attunement quests to work on which uh, were pretty lengthy and uh, required multiple heroic runs and stuff like that so <clears throat> I mean it it kept you pr plenty busy um, and then of course after Black Temple then um, the Sunwell opened up and uh, and then after Sunwell of course the uh, Lich King content um, opened up so uh, and then you know we we all know the rest of that so uh, so we're back in Hellfire 
Uh, and I'm going to go turn this in, and I'm not for sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably head back to um, um, North Rend and do some more quests. And um, probably get another level. That'll make us 77, and uh, we can queue up for a new dungeon. Because we're still stuck at uh, Gundrak and Halls of Stone and all of that. So, of course, I could just do some randoms, but meh. I find that kind of boring. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's try, I'm trying to think of what we could do next. Uh, you know, I have gained quite a bit of experience. I've been doing some uh, archaeology. Um, I've gotten some Vicrul and Nerubian pieces, uh, a few Night Elf pieces. Um, got some more points in leather working. Uh, I'm back up to heavy Berean leather. So now I can start farming Berean leather again. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I'm not too far off of the, uh, the stuff for my level. So that's not too bad. Skinning is coming along quite nicely so but yeah i will uh get this turned in and i will see you back in north Rand. so again this is foolish mortal 42 uh thank you so much for watching <laughs>